I have in front of me the brand new Costco exclusive Pokemon product, which is a ETB as well as a Pokemon tin. And we're going to be opening this up and seeing what the packs are inside and if we can pack any bangers. So let's get into it. So here it is, guys, the Costco exclusive product. Now, I've heard that there is actually another variation of this where there is an Evolving Skies ETB, which would be really, really cool to open because Evolving Skies has been absolutely crazy on the channel recently. We've been getting the Moonbryon and every other single alt art. But like I said today, what we're going to be doing is cracking this open and seeing what is inside. Up first, we have a Flareon tin. And then secondly, we have a Chilling Rain Elite Trainer Box. This is the Shadow Rider version, I believe, which I'm assuming has eight Chilling Rain packs in. But you know what? That's okay because I actually haven't opened up Chilling Rain in a long time. So we have eight booster packs as predicted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're just going to jump straight into it today, guys, and open these up. Like I mentioned, I haven't opened up Chilling Rain in a long, long time. And I will definitely say that my pack luck has probably been the worst that it has ever been for uh, a set in the Sword and Shield era with Chilling Rain. I never pack anything good. I don't think I packed a single all art for myself. Um, so hopefully that can change. You know what? We're going to add some spice on the first pack. Try and get some first pack magic. We have a Ghastly. We have a Porygon. Swirlix. Oh my goodness, I see something in the back. We have a Metagross VMAX to start us off. Really, really cool Pokemon. So pack number one, we managed to get something good. All right, hopefully I can get myself an alt art in this ETB. That would be absolutely incredible. Um, like I said, I would love to get the Moltres or the Roadrunner. I like to call it Zapdos um, alt art, which would be really, really cool. But Chilling Rain, in my opinion, is a very underrated set. I don't think many people realize how many good cards are in this. You have the Celebi as well. And ooh, a Floor Last, a Frost Last, sorry hollow to make pack number two hey we're getting hits in these there is also the code card right there if you want to redeem that but yeah like i said some really, really underrated cards in the set and um i think i think people were kind of just waiting for the next big set which was announced at the time which was evolving skies but in my opinion there you get sets like this in pokemon where people kind of come back to them because uh they were too hyped for another set and they didn't really get to open up um the set before and i definitely think ching rain is going to be one of those sets we have a dig at reverse and then a kecleon non-hollow next pack come on baby let's get something good also guys i have a psa return video coming out very soon um i definitely want you guys to check that one out because there are some absolute bangers i recorded it and uh, that will be coming out in the very near future so keep your eyes peeled for that if you are new be sure to subscribe and also be sure to hit that bell notification because when that video drops um i want you guys to check out what we got we get a venipede reverse hollow and a rainbow rare caitlin yo this etb has been crazy what four three pulls in four packs that's nuts rainbow rare right there we have the Caitlyn, very, very nice. And let's just move straight to the next pack. Zapdos, oh my goodness. Maybe maybe Costco packs are a little bit OP right now. Genuinely, that was really, really un uh, surprising. I did not think that we'd be getting two or three hits from four packs. Anyway, we'll sprinkle the spice and hope that it continues because I will never complain. Getting cards like that, that was absolutely incredible. But if you've managed to open these, be sure to um, let me know what your pulls have been like. And we get a Blazer Conv... Hey, oh my goodness. What is going on with these pulls right now? We still have three packs left and hopefully we can still get some absolute craziness with these last three. Now I've said that, I've definitely jinxed it. Um, but I will also be giving away one of these products on a live stream in the near future. So if you do want to get your hands involved with that, be sure to come hang out in the live streams. I stream twice a week usually tuesday and once at the weekend um and yeah like i said i'm going to be giving away one of these very very soon so be sure to like the video and comment what your favorite pokemon card from the sword and shield era is all right we are moving back to the moltres pack like i said i would love absolutely love to be able to pull that all art and i will be giving the codes away in uh the end of the video guys so be sure to stick around for that if you are trying to get some code cards because I don't need them in this video. So we'll go for a snow runt, Weedle, Cast Form, Reverse Peony, and a Surviper non hollow. I told you, since saying that the luck hasn't been great, I've definitely jinxed it. But you know what? Three big pulls from an ETB. I will definitely take it because my ETB luck has always been absolutely terrible. So uh, the luck's changed for me in today's video. We've got a rainbow rare, which is sick. But we still have a tin to open. So let me know down in the comment section your predictions because I actually don't know what the packs are inside. What sets would you like to see in these evolution tins? We have a Shuppet Reverse Hollow and then a Wall Rain Non Hollow as well. 
There you go, guys. Some code cards for you also. And let's move on to the tin. As mentioned, here it is. We have the Flareon. Now, I do believe there are three variations of these tins. You have the OG Flareon, Vaporeon, and um, Jolteon. We got a Flareon one. And the tin actually looks really cool. But let's open it up and see what packs are inside. Can we get something cool? Oh, okay. Astral Radiance will definitely take that. We have a Fusion Strike. Oh, and two Evolving Skies as well. Yo, these tins are really good. The packs are awesome in this. These are actually really, really cool. Two Evolving Skies, Fusion Strike, and Astral. I think we'll do it in this order. And uh, hopefully we can add some more crazy pulls to the Rainbow Rare that we've pulled in today's video. Fusion Strike up first. I really want the Rainbow Rare Mew uh, VMAX. That is my chase card for this set. I've pulled the uh, Gengar, or I would take the Alt R Espeon. That would be really cool. But the artwork on every single card in this set is 10 out of 10, in my opinion. We have a Mankey, a Hariyama Reverse Holo, and then a Maractus non holo in that pack. Okay, not too good. Astral Radiance, really enjoyed opening this set. I did think it was going to be the 2022 um, Rebel Clash, but it actually surprised me in a good way. Uh, it was a very, very fun set to open. And let's see if we can get something good in this. Togepi, Chatot, Magnemite, Teddy Ursa, Sneasel, Rufflet, so no trainer gallery, and a Mamo Swine right there okay astral and fusion didn't give us anything good but we now have two evolving skies can i pull another moonbrion we literally got one live on stream the other day let's see if we can do it again and try and pull one of those incredible all arts leaf energy swoobat digging gloves stormy mountain drowsy flabebe rog and roller psyduck we have a swablu Feebas Reverse and a Wishy Washy. Oh no, it's come down to some last pack magic. Before we do that though, here are the co-cards for those packs. Okay, here we go, the last pack. Can we get something good? in today's video and if you have enjoyed it guys be sure to hit that like button and also be sure to subscribe we're getting closer and closer to 15,000 subscribers and be sure to stick around towards the end because there will be a new video for you guys to check out which uh, YouTube thinks will be best suited for you so be sure to look at, into that we have a Gossy Fleur, Reverse Thievul and a talon flame non hollow so like i said guys be sure to check out some of my previous videos right here that you will enjoy hit that like button subscribe and i'll see you next time